Um, I'm just a bit over being short. You know, most models have to be kind of versatile and adaptable. Yeah. And I mean, the hair you had, you wouldn't have got booked. I do like the colour though. Sophie, you're all done. I feel right now, not myself. I just want it, really want an extension. So looking at the other girls with the long hair just really pissed me off. <laughs> if my hair wasn't like this, I would say no one would be my competition. I don't like that because everyone's always said, pull it off my face. She's very attached to her hair. Her hair is her thing. She has to understand that if she wants to be a successful model, she has to do as she's told. When I came home, I was so upset and angry because I don't like what I see in the mirror now. I just don't. So here goes $300. Oh, my God. Get it right and close to it, but no, stitching. I fucked it now. I can't turn back. I walked into the bathroom of the Red Room and saw Sophie cutting her $300 hair extension. Are you crying right now inside a little? The end goal of this procedure is um, that I will have some blonde showing through that I can wear when we go out to a bar so I don't feel so effing ugly. You know what? I have no idea what Sophie was thinking when she cut that hair and tried to put it in because it looked like crap and that's the end of it. <laughs> Sophie has chopped her $300 hair extension <gasps> and oh, is please, putting it in her hair. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. What a knob. <laughs> she looked like a skunk. That's <laughs> bad. You know, the skunk thing. I understand where she's coming from. It's a big change for her. She's been blonde for so long and now she's not Barbie anymore. You go, you've hit the brick wall, have you? I don't, it just, I look at the mirror and just look as shit. No, <laughs> it'll be fine, so it'll be fine. They're the experts, they know what you should be looking like. Yeah, but it's not me. It, well, it will be you. I it will be. Feel, I don't feel hot at all. Like, I look at the mirror and I'm fucking gross. Well, just trust them. You're not going to be this little blonde Barbie anymore. You're not. You know, you're, you've grown up, you're, you're, just putting your wings so and you're, you're going into a more sophisticated type of thing. Sophie. I was looking forward to your hair transformation this week because, let's face it, your hair needed transforming. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Um, I, I, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't know, like, it just doesn't feel like me. It's a massive improvement, Sophie. It really is a massive improvement for what we had to work with. Yeah, it's definitely. going to be a lot easier. Yeah. But just, in, I'd, I'd like to see it shorter. Maybe even a little darker. Onto the photo shoot. Amazing. I think that's what you're having a real problem with is, is it letting go and being something completely different because you look like a rock chick. That's what's so beautiful about this. It's like you see that you're a strong, beautiful, mm. you know, girl. I'm not sure about Sophie's attitude. She's so beautiful, but I think she's got Barbie doll syndrome. I get the distinct feeling she's one of those girls who just don't get it and they never do get it. Yeah. Sophie. Well done, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thank you, thank you all.